everybody. It's AKC from Thrust FPV again. How's it going? I just have to show something with you guys. I came across this software for doing some video editing, and you guys have really got to check this out. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and take you to the site. This is called Pro Adrenaline. Um, they have a bunch of different software versions and different types of stuff that they can do, but mostly this is made pretty much for action cameras and drones and first-person view. Um, this is directly straight up in our alley what we need to be focused on um, what I have here is the pro adrenaline version the $29 one yes it's the cheapest version um, you have your your you know supports that it has here yes that is fish eye removal automatically built in with profiles video stabilization basic and automated you don't even have to select this stuff this is automatic Th this is what you want to do when you take your raw camera footage straight out of your your action camera whichever one that you're using you get it on your desktop you open up pro adrenaline and you immediately just knock it down to the perfect video before you even take it into whatever video editing software that you have so that you can get it you know, it just saves time and you cannot beat this. Okay, so there you go. It is proadrenaline.com. Okay, let's go ahead and go take you back into that video a little bit and let's have a look and see what we have. So the left side here is straight off my run cam too. Um, it was a very hazy, you know, typical Michigan winter, fall, whatever, you know, day. Um, I like a little bit of a more cheerful vibrant flavorful color you know i don't know what term you want to use but i really enjoy this this the setup that they have here on the right also notice that it has taken out the stabilization uh issues that that the that the run cam had from sitting on top of the you know quad with four motors running as you look at the buildings on the right hand side you actually get a steady view of like the cracks and the grout lines of the bricks and stuff like that um, you see it there too it is sharp sharpened up and it has really made a beautiful picture you know even better than you know what nature gave us that day to, to look at um, here it is again just another run by I'm gonna open up pro, pro adrenaline this is how you get it from your desktop straight off of download um, I'm gonna go ahead and get me some flying footage just pick it up drop it in the box all rendering is complete it's completely done <laughs> there's no waiting this is immediately ready for you to to do what you want to do um, usually before I you know save the file I'll put a side-by-side -side view so that I can compare and I can actually see what it is the changes that I'm doing um, today that th th this day when I was flying in this video it was a run can 2 stock lens does not have fisheye as you can see here all these these edges and, and, and corners and everything it's all flat it doesn't round as you pass the images and everything so in this particular situation with me using a run cam I don't need to use the fisheye automatic these are profiles for your HD cam that you particularly have with the lens that is on that so guys you don't even have to change lenses anymore you don't have to spend no more money on extra lenses back to clear you would not have a rounded edge it would look like this this is awesome you don't have to change your hardware anymore you know and th this camera doesn't even affect us for flying so there's really no more in putting any more money and upgrades in these lenses for these different you know uh, GoPros and run cams and Mobius wides and all, all these different little features that cost us money constantly for 29 bucks this is getting it done pretty much right off the bat oh uh, you do have some crazy stuff you know what I mean you can select this filter you know what I mean you can it, it, it is pretty much any shade of gradient that you want to play with but you know this one I'm going to use 102 um, this one here if I wanted to stabilize the video I'm going to say this most of our flying it doesn't need stabilized because that's what we're doing we're flying around and we're moving okay if you do select this and it is going to take time to you know kind of pre-finalize it and buffer it out and everything it is going to be very choppy and it, you know, it's going to look really bad for what we're doing 
It's okay. Um, anyways, I'm going to leave this side by side, and this is really awesome too. Um, you have a zoom. Say, like, you have something you want to focus in on, look at the right hand screen. I've zoomed in on this that easy. You know, I can pull it back out to 100%, then go back. And then there you go, you're back again. Look at this. When I clicked on that tab bar, there was no, it was instantaneous, no buffering or anything. This is really good, fast, fast software. It is definitely, you know, accessing it and doing its job very quickly without any errors. Um, so pretty much that's, look at the difference in the bricks there. You know, so that that's pretty much the difference in easy, 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 pre-editing, editing. editing. You know, and, and like I said, this is actually made to kind of save us money as we change to like, if I wanted to record from my DVR with my monster camera, my monster camera has a huge uh, fisheye lens on it. I can then record, you know, and still have a flat picture and then, you know, share with you guys a non fisheye monster camera for you guys to view. That is really cool to me. I love it. This is cheap. I think you guys should give it a rip. Um, so now that I've done all this stuff here, I'm just going to, you know, make sure that I'm going to my desktop. That's how I like to put it. Um, I can leave it high, medium, or low quality. I'm going to leave it at medium here. you got your demoid noise filter. I'm going to put it on low. Um, I'm going to record this. Now, pretty much what I'm going to do here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this format. If you leave this in horizontal for you to compare mode, it's going to record this like as a two screen, which can be cool if that's what you're trying to do. Show somebody a zoomed look and an expanded look at the same time. It will give you a split screen recording. I'm probably going to play with that at some point. So anyways, I've now got it back onto, you know, the regular normal square screen. And I'm just going to hit export to my desktop and that's it. It's done. That's it. I don't want to do this because that's well. That's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys uh, maybe give this stuff a try. But this is really good stuff. I think you guys should really try it out and stop buying lenses. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. AKC out.